Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be learning about butterflies. I am going to read to you from the National Geographic Kids. It is called Caterpillar to Butterfly, written by Laura Marsh. Here we go. On this page it just shows you the table of contents and what is on each page. Let's read this riddle. What starts as an egg, then walks on many legs? and then uses wings to fly. A butterfly. Beautiful butterflies. Butterflies are fun to watch. They fly with loops and dives. Some have bright colors. Some have bold patterns too. And up on the top, you'll see a question. It says, what do you call an insect that's running out of gas? And the answer is a sputterby butterfly. That's silly. Four stages. It's also fun to watch butterflies change. They change a lot in their short lives. In fact, there are four stages in a butterfly's life. Stage number one, egg. Stage two, caterpillar. Stage three, chrysalis. And the last stage is four, the butterfly. This picture is a picture of a monarch butterfly. And on the bottom, there's a little net with the butterfly. Those are going to be our catch words. Um, so you know what these words mean. This one is stages. And stages mean steps on how something grows. Stage one, egg. A mother butterfly lays many eggs on a leaf or branch. Each egg is close to food, caterpillar food that is. Butterfly eggs come in all different shapes. And as you can see there, there's four different pictures of eggs. And this picture of the butterfly is a Malayan egg fly butterfly. Stage two, the caterpillar. The tiny caterpillar bites a hole in the egg. It crawls out. The caterpillar is very hungry. The caterpillar eats its shell. Then it eats the leaf it's on. The caterpillar moves to another leaf. It eats that too. The caterpillar grows and grows. It gets too fat for its skin. It sheds its old skin like a snake. The new skin fits for a while, but then the caterpillar is too big for that skin too. Caterpillars shed their skin four or five times. This is a small white butterfly caterpillar. And as you can see, there's the old skin that it's leaving behind. Oh, and if we look on the top, there's another question and answer. Question, what green, oh, what's green and dangerous? Hmm. The answer is a caterpillar with a bad temper. <laughs> Stage three, chrysalis. On the top, you'll see that there's a picture of the stages of a caterpillar forming its chrysalis. And this type of um, butterfly would be the monarch butterfly. The chrysalis. By now, the caterpillar is ready to rest. It hangs upside down. It sheds its skin one more time. The new layer is called a chrysalis. It's a hard shell. Inside the caterpillar is changing. It stays in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. Stage four, butterfly. The chrysalis moves, it splits open, the butterfly wiggles out, its wings are wet and crumpled. Blood pumps into the butterfly's wings they get bigger and harden. The wings dry. Now the butterfly is ready to fly. Have a good trip, butterfly. This butterfly is the Julia butterfly. So pretty. And we have another question and answer. How are caterpillars and babies alike? Answer. They both creep and crawl. Time for lunch. A butterfly doesn't eat plants like a caterpillar. It has no mouth. A butterfly drinks nectar from flowers. It drinks juice from the fruit. 
A tube on its head works like a straw. Slurp. And we have another catch word, which is nectar. Nectar is a sugary liquid found in flowers. Cool butterfly facts. Number one, butterfly wings are covered with tiny scales. Number two, the world's smallest butterfly is the blue pygmy. It's the length of a pushpin from wing to wing. Number three, butterflies are found all over the world except in Antarctica and the driest deserts. Number four, there are about 17,000 kinds of butterflies in the world. Number five, butterflies taste with their feet. They have taste sensors there. Number six, the world's largest butterfly is the Queen Alexandra birdwing. It's as long as a ruler from wing to wing. Back off. Caterpillars and butterflies are a tasty snack for predators, but they have tricks to keep predators away. Some hide using camouflage, and some can be deadly to eat. Some look like other things. Hmm, that's creepy. And we have two catchwords. This one is camouflage and predator. Camouflage is an animal's natural color or shape that helps it hide from an enemy. And a predator is an animal that eats other animals. Moth or butterfly. Moths and butterflies look alike. Here's how you can tell them apart. Let's start with the antenna on the butterfly. So the butterfly's antenna are thin and have little knobs at the end. Moth's antennas are slim to a point and look like feathers. A moth's bodies are fat and furry, but a butterfly's bodies are slender. A butterfly can be brightly colored, but a moth can, are usually brown, tan, or white. A moth mostly flies at night, and a butterfly mostly flies during the day. Question, what is it called when a moth cries? A moth ball. <laughs> bring butterflies to you. You can bring butterflies to your backyard. Make a beautiful garden, but first ask an adult for help. Here's what you'll need. Plants that are local to your area. Plants that bloom at different times. Orange, purple, yellow, pink, and red flowers. Flowers that are clustered together. Flat top flowers. A sunny spot for butterflies to rest like a flat stone. A wet or watery spot for butterflies to drink. No chemicals which can kill butterflies and caterpillars. And the picture of that butterfly right there is a swallowtail butterfly. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of butterfly things. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures and the answers on page 31. You can pause this video, grab a piece of paper and a pencil, and write down one through six, and then write your guess. There's a word bank right on top. Have fun with this page. And last, these are the four new words that we learned today and their meanings. Camouflage, nectar, predator, and stages. I hope you enjoyed the book and go outside and look for some butterflies. Have a good day, guys. Bye.